Okay, in this tutorial movie here, what we're going to do, primary focus here, we'll be able to uh, create drill files. So the ultimate goal here is to convert this DXF file to Gerber. Uh, but in the meantime, also we need to have drill data so we can hand that over to the manufacturer. Uh, so we'll simply do that here, and you can do this in AutoCAD or any CAD tool that you're using if your goal is to convert from DXF to Gerber. All right, the first thing you want to do and the best thing, the best practice I've seen is to create a separate layer just for uh, your drills. So what I would do here is uh, go here, select a new layer. We'll just call it drill. And again, you can use any default names, anything you like. Uh, I'll just choose some kind of yellowish color here. Should be nice and easy to see. All right, and that should be my uh, okay, set current. So that's my active layer. Perfect. All right, now what I'm going to do is just place a bunch of circles. Now, in reality, uh, there are specific places where you'll need to have your drill holes placed and the specific sizes. In this case, since it's just a tutorial and I'm just trying to show how to convert uh, this data over and get your drill data, I'm just gonna draw circles anywhere. So what I'll do here is I'll just place, uh, first thing we'll do is place a circle in here. And it doesn't really matter the size. I think you get the point. And so I'll place another circle right here. Again, it should probably be identical, uh, just keeping things consistent. But in any case, it doesn't matter. And just for the heck of it, I'll do uh, place a few circles. You see, I'm not the best CAD operator in the world here, but And all I'm doing here is just creating an array just to be cute, uh, you know, just to kind of show some some features here. And just to make sure I haven't done things too strange. Ah, that's fine, except. Okay, great. So what I've done here is I've created uh, just a sample circuit, and also I have uh, a bunch of holes here that can be used for my drill. So at this point right here, I'll save the DXF. All right, and now I'll start up ACE 3000, which is the tool we use to uh, convert from DXF to Gerber. So I'll select the DXF. Now I remember that the units were millimeters. Again, DXF files are unitless, so you need to be able to determine what the units were that were drawn for the DXF file. And then with ACE, you have a wide variety of different formats you can export to. In this case, it's gonna be Gerber. So I click Next. I select that drill file I just created, the DXF one. And so what I'll do here is I will set this up with these defaults. However, on layer zero, that's the one with my circuit. That was drawn with just lines and arcs, so I need to make sure that I join because in order to fill a boundary in Gerber, it has to be solid and it has to be continuous. Uh, so I've done that. Here I have the options. Everything here is pretty much just standard run of the mill. And, uh, so I, and also it's very important to notice on my drill layer that I selected the option called flash. Uh, what flash does is that detects circles and converts it into what's called an aperture in Gerber, which means it has a center point and a diameter, which is basically drill data. So I'll click Next. Great. Now when you convert over, you'll see here's, basically this is in Gerber format per se, where I've got everything's filled and the yellow represents the holes. Go back to conversion. Now the only trick here to making drill data is just clicking right there. What that will do is it'll output the 0.gerber, which is my circuit, drill.gerber and also we'll output another drill file. Drill.drl is typically what will be named. So I just choose a folder here. Let's just say gerb and drill. Click accept and there we go. So basically what's happened is it outputted the gerber file zero.gerber to that point. It also outputted the file drill.gerber, outputted the file drill.drill .drill, which is actually your drill data and the drill.dpt is just a report file for your drill. And that's all it is to uh, outputting that. So now if I was sending that out to manufacturing, I would just send basically everything I got here out to manufacturing and you're in great shape. Thank you.